Hi everyone, welcome to another DataViz Critique. This one of this kind of cool little tool a friend of mine sent me, it's a friend of a friend, Eric Gibbons created this fun little project. I, I, I don't know Eric personally or at all really, uh, but I found this site pretty fun. And so let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay, so this is Eric's project TV show trends. I think this is just a personal project, so I don't really come into a critique of this of, of kind of project like this, seeking to really kind of like rip it apart and look at all the details because it's just a personal project, but it is really fun. And there are some things that I would, um, I, I think could make this even more interesting. So let's take a look at what, we, what we've got. At the top here, we've got the title. You can put the IMDB ID here if you don't know the title, then the show title right here, and you can even put in a year if you want. Um, once you put in that show name, because you have already pre-populated this with Seinfeld, you can click individual, we can compare it, we'll do that in a second. And then there's these toggles that are, these are already preset. So show episode data, show trend lines, area chart, and then connect the seasons. So let's just take a look at Seinfeld and we're just gonna scroll down here. We see we've got these big tall area charts here by season one all the way to season uh, 10. We've got these uh, IMDB ratings, you can see down here in the Y axis and you can hover over these and you can see each of the IMDB ratings here. And so let's take a look at another show. Let's add, say, Letter Kenny, one of my new favorites. And I'm going to say add to compare. Totally different shows, but I think kind of fun to, uh, to compare here because they both got long runs. So I think Letter Kenny's about to have its 12th season, and Seinfeld had whatever it said, 10 seasons. Um, so what this is going to do, I think this is uh, in real time pulling data from IMDB, which is pretty cool in and of itself, right? And so I think that's just like a, a neat thing to start with. So you can see here, we've got Letter Kenny in red with the underline and Seinfeld in that kind of greenish, aqua greenish color over here. And so you can see, yeah, Letter Kenny has 12 seasons and, and uh, Seinfeld has nine seasons and they're just laid up on top of each other. So, okay, so having all that said, and you can see here, do you see that we have, you know, we have uh, additional options here that we can play with. Uh, because the number of, of episodes doesn't always line up. So let's just take a look at what we what we see here. First on the comparison. Love the little underline that shows you the color. Now red and green here, probably not the best. I haven't tested this, but probably not the best. But, but okay, let's turn these off as an area chart for a second. So I don't know if these boxes are totally necessary. Might be a way to collapse this down a little bit, but whatever, no big deal. I mean, again, this is a fun little project. Let's take a look here. The, the one thing I would say about this entire project is that the graphs are too tall. Let's go back. If we if we just pick, if we just do this again, just go back to Seinfeld. And we'll just pick Seinfeld here uh, just on its own. When you when you do that, you're gonna see here, it's it's much faster, obviously. It doesn't have to pull as much data. Um, so we'll, we'll go back to just one. But I love on the comparison with that little un underline tagged with the color right away. So here's the Seinfeld one. I, I just think that the graphs are too tall. I would kind of move all this up. You're looking on my big monitor right now and, and these graphs are a little tall. So that would be the first thing I would I would do. I do love this connect the seasons. You know, this is really cool. You can see that. You could turn off the area chart. Uh, you can turn off the trend lines. Uh, you can uh, do, you can even turn off the specific episodes and just see how it went over the course of the of the season. So a lot of cool things that you can you can kind of do here. But for me, the big thing would be to shorten this. This is just a little too tall for me. Um, the other thing that I might want to do, and this again, sort of going further, if if the creator wanted to go a little bit further, is be able to pick your own color and maybe even download the graphs, right? Like, could I download this? Could I get an embed code and put this on my site? Maybe I want to have a graph on my website that compares Seinfeld and, and Letterkenny. And I could do that with a little embed code um, and maybe create some other, other options here to do that. I also would change this IMDB rating is just kind of buried down here. I might put it up into the title, you know, TV show trends of IMDB ratings or something like that. And then the, the other sort of bigger change that I would make is to swap these two input boxes. I have no idea what the IMDB ID is of Seinfeld, no idea. So I think, and I'm guessing that's most people, most people are probably gonna put the title in first rather than the IMDB ID. So I would just put that at the front and just do that right at the beginning. And let's just try one more show. Let's try The Wire. Great show set in Baltimore. 
you can see we're going to get that information. It's just going to pull it for us. I mean, I love that it just tells you. I also don't love the old thermometer ones because it's just so annoying. So I like that's just a, the spinning wheel. But again, these charts to me are just a little too tall. I'll probably shorten them up a little bit, maybe collapse this entire page up just a little bit. There's a lot of space over here on the right. Could even put these options over here on the right just to collapse the whole thing. Um, and you can see uh, you can even get more information as you toggle here. But I really do like this page. It's really fun to play around with these different shows and it downloads it automatically. But again, at the end of the day, what I would love to be able to do is download this graph or you know whatever I want to do. I want to do it like this. Download this graph, download the data, uh, grab it as an embed code. But I think uh, Eric, whoever you are, wherever you are, great job. Love this uh, little page, super fun to play with. And I hope you who are watching will check this out because I think it's a fun little tool. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for more DataViz critiques of your favorite DataViz projects.